YouTube. So I just want to just post this real short clip, this real short video here showing this small upgrade I did. I just got off work a little while ago and, and I was messing around with this car, just trying to adjust some lights. I um, see my gauges down there, my three gauges. I actually put the uh, LED lights in there. Before, I think my last video, I had the yellow ones and I was talking about whether or not I was gonna change it. Well, the day after work, I decided to just go ahead and change it. The problem is, is once I start messing with that, then somehow the lights wouldn't work now and it took me about an hour to finally get those to work. And I was so frustrated. Once I got them to work, um, I did the stupidest thing that anybody could ever do is I decided to take my dash out and mess around with that for a moment. Well, needs to say for the past three hours, I've been messing around with this car, but as I was doing that, I saw something and I thought about something that I've always wanted to change and never just really did it well I finally did it I took that that ugly looking faded out a uh, lens that you cannot find nowhere on the internet no there's no repops nobody makes it or anything like that um, if you do find one it's just horribly in bad condition um, and I hated that thing so I took mine out you can see now if I get you up closer you can see that is actually my dash. I put the LED lights in there. I can turn them on here real quick. That little buzzer is like, I'm old school, man. I, I still like that little sound when you leave the lights on, or else I'll forget. But you can see now I got the LED lights now inside of my uh, gauges down there. So that's nice. Takes away that amber yellow looking. All my LEDs are lit up now. But what I did was let me turn this off. What I did was, is I took this thing out. I didn't like it because it was faded out. Um, yeah, it just was faded. It's got like scratches. You can see like a lot of scratches. And it was just, it just looked bad. And I didn't like the way it looked. So I took that out. I took that off rather. And I pulled my, get my dash out which is pretty simple. All you do is take about four or five screws off here, take the bezel off, reach back in the back, undo your speedometer cable, unplug it. Some people drop their, their uh, steering column, but if you tilt, if you got tilt, you can drop your tilt all the way down, turn it, and then bring, you can turn it, and then bring it out of the side, either side, either this side over here, or bring it out of that side, and it'll come right out. But yeah, look at that, man. That looks nice there. I think that looks a whole lot better. It's got a clean look. So I took it out and I took this off. I took this off. You pull this, once you pull that thing out on the back, it's got about six screws. One, one in this corner, one in that corner, one in each corner. And I think two in the middle on the bottom and two in the middle on the top. You take that off. And I went and bought a thin piece of plexiglass and put on this so now if you look right here see that that's all the way across that's clear clear plexiglass now that's in there and uh yeah i just had to drill a few holes uh for the back the back of that has a couple of holes so you got to be real careful when you drill the holes through them plexiglass really got to do it really slow because if you do it too fast you'll easily crack the glass but i did that drilled the hole for um the uh, uh the clock uh deal right here did it for that there and uh put that thing in there man and i like that that just looks a lot more classier a lot more custom than that really ugly looking cover that sticks out a whole 10 inches from the gauges um so yeah that's it uh just wanted to uh, show that there and uh, hopefully give somebody else an idea that's running the same thing 67 Impala convertible um, All right, take care